Jim Willie on silver, and the hidden forces of global markets, ladies and gentlemen. Buckle up, because what I am about to share with you isn't just about silver, it's about a seismic shift in the entire global financial system. You're not going to hear this on CNBC, you won't read it in the Wall Street Journal, and Bloomberg certainly won't touch it. Why? Because they are part of the problem. The elites. The central bankers. The puppet governments they have all been working in concert for decades to manipulate, suppress, and control precious metals like silver, and what's coming next will shock most of you to your core. First, let's talk about the current state of the silver market. In 2024, silver demand is on fire. Why? It's simple. The age of new technology is upon us solar energy, electric vehicles, artificial intelligence, 5G, and robotics they all require massive amounts of silver. This is no accident, folks. This isn't just a coincidence that these industries are booming right as we head into what I call the silver age. In fact, the supply deficit in the silver market hit 15% in 2023, according to the World Silver Survey, and I'll bet you they're downplaying that number. It's probably worse than they're letting on. Silver supply is shrinking, while demand is skyrocketing though you see the writing on the wall. You've got to understand how this game is played. Let's rewind for a second to the 1990s and early 2000s. Silver was in a deficit for 15 straight years. Let that sink in. 15 years of consumption outpacing production, and what did they do? They drained the above ground stockpile by 1.5 billion ounces. At one point, we were down to just 500 million ounces of commercial grade silver in the LBM and COMEX vaults. That's right, they ate through 7 to 5 percent of the available silver, and still the price barely moved. Why? Because the central banks, the bullion banks, and their lackeys in government didn't want the public to wake up to the true value of silver. They needed to keep it suppressed while they accumulated it behind the scenes. That's the dirty little secret they don't want you to know. Now, from 2006 to 2011, we saw the inventory start to rebuild. But then came the big run-up by April 2011. Silver peaked at nearly 50 an ounce. And do you remember what happened next? They pulled the rug out. They crashed the price through manipulation in the futures markets. You don't crash a market like that naturally it was orchestrated. The price of silver was threatening the global fiat system especially the U.S. dollar. So, they had to take it down by any means necessary. This wasn't just market dynamics at play, this was a coordinated attack to keep silver prices artificially low so the elites could continue stacking their piles. But here's the kicker, we're now back in a deficit situation, and this time it's different. The deficit has returned since 2021, and it's forecasted to continue well into 2024. The industry is sucking up every available ounce of silver it can get. And who's competing with industry? Investors. Smart money is moving into silver as the cracks in the global financial system widen. They know what's coming. They see the great reset on the horizon, and they're positioning themselves for the collapse of fiat currencies. I am telling you, the dollar is dying and silver is one of the escape routes. And let's not forget about the new kids on the block China, Russia, and the BRICS nations. These countries are done playing by the Western banking cartel's rules. They're stacking physical silver and gold like it's going out of style, preparing for a post-dollar world. While the West has been distracted by wars, inflation, and political theater, the East has been quietly building an empire of hard assets. They know what's coming, and they're preparing for the death of the U.S. dollar hegemony. The BRICS nations are working on a new global reserve currency backed by commoditizes, including silver. And when that happens, mark my words, silver will be the rocket fuel that powers the shift away from fiat. Now, let's look at the numbers back in 1990, industrial use of silver was about 35%. Today, it's a 60%. And with the global push for green energy, solar power, and electric vehicles, that number is only going to keep rising. The world's largest solar farms, wind turbines, and even the batteries in electric cars, they all need silver. And guess what? You can't print silver. You can print money, you can manipulate numbers on a screen, but you cannot manufacture more silver out of thin air. And that's the Achilles heel of this corrupt system that can't keep suppressing the price forever. Remember what happened in the 2008 financial crisis. 
When the banks collapsed and everyone rushed to safe haven assets, the price of gold and silver spiked. Well, this time, the crisis will be even bigger. We're staring down the barrel of a global debt crisis, a currency crisis, and a geopolitical shift that will change the world as we know it. Silver will explode. And those who are holding physical silver, not paper contracts, not ETFs, are going to be the winners. Those who are still in fiat, or worse, digital currencies controlled by central banks, will be the losers. You see, folks, the central bankers are preparing for a digital currency system what they like to call central bank digital currencies CBDCS. These will be used to enslave the population even further, giving governments the ability to track every transaction, tax every dollar, and freeze accounts at will. It's the ultimate control mechanism. But they can't control your physical silver. They can't confiscate what you've buried in your backyard or stored in a private vault. Let me tell you, when the reset happens, when the dollar crashes, and the new system emerges, there will be a mad rush for physical metals. The banks, the hedge funds, the corporations still all try to jump on the bandwagon, but it'll be too late. The smart money is moving now. They're buying up every ounce of silver they can get their hands on, because they know that when this thing blows, silver is going to be the most sought after asset on the planet. And don't even get me started on the criminal manipulation in the COMEX and LBMA markets. They're hiking margins on silver and gold contracts to force out the small players and maintain control. They've been doing this for years, raising margins, creating fake sell-offs, and using their paper games to suppress the price of silver. But here's the thing physical demand is starting to break their stranglehold. Look at what's happening with PSLV Sprott Physical Silver Trust. They just added nearly a million ounces of silver. The Shanghai Gold Exchange is also seeing massive withdrawals of physical metal. The walls are closing in on these manipulators. ILL leave you with this the financial elites don't want you to understand silver's true value because it's a direct threat to their fiat system. They've rigged the game for decades, but the game is coming to an end. When the system collapses and believe me, it will collapse the silver will be the escape hatch. The only question is will you be ready when that day comes? Physical silver is your lifeboat in a sea of fiat destruction. Don't wait for the storm to hit before you jump in. The time to act is now.